Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ask the CEO with Avraham Gatail. Today, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. She is the founder and CEO of Strategic Mobility Group, an innovative technology provider that designs and integrates mobile solutions for enterprise. It is my pleasure to welcome Nancy Gorski. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you very much, Avraham. It's uh, such a pleasure to be speaking with you today, Nancy. Um, let's talk a little bit about enterprise mobility. So enterprise mobility is a growing market and a critical component of every business's IT strategy. In fact, according to a report by Market Research Future, the global market for BYOD, bring your own device and enterprise mobility is expected to grow from $39 billion back in 2017 to $94 billion in 2023. Um, Healthcare has typically been slower than most industries to adopt new technology, you know, due to a myriad of reasons ranging from compliance to risk aversion. What are the challenges healthcare organizations face with regards to embracing enterprise mobility? Well, I think because of human nature, change in itself is frightening. So more often than not, even if change uh, will show a benefit, human nature often gets in the way and delays the process. So in the healthcare industry, those complexities only increase, not because the technology or the solution will fail, um, but because the individuals who will be using the technology have to balance their comfort of the status quo. So, you know, they'll say to themselves, like, I know my processes, I know how to fill out the forms, and I'm in control, and it's always worked this way. Versus, um, having to basically face the fear of a new technology where they have to learn a new device um, in addition to all the other things they have to maintain. And so while they're not, may not have like the firsthand knowledge or experience of that technology, when implemented correctly, it will um, definitely assist them with their efficiencies, their life-saving fail-safes, and it will increase overall patient care. And we know that like the third leading cause of death in the United States is um, medical errors. And 46% of all these medical errors are preventable. And if you think about it, that's a staggering number. And research has shown that um, with the implementation of mobile technologies, we can really drastically reduce that number. So in addition to like the user adoption that I mentioned earlier, the healthcare organizations, they have to also, it's a, it's a task. They have to choose the correct enhancements um, for patient care. And these can very easily be solved on a mobile platform, but choosing it is, is a challenge. And you, they choose their enhancements and they choose um, the mobile um, devices and then they also have to find somebody. They have to find a system integrator to help them deliver the project. And it has to be done correctly, on time, and under budget. That's important, too. So, you know, mobile technology is not going to disappear anytime soon. So, if the anything, it's going to increase. It's going to increase. So, you have to, um, you have to, you have to, you identify your, your short-term strategies, but in your, in your goals, but you also need to know what your long-term strategies are too. So it's a process. You know, these are just some of the examples of why the healthcare industry faces challenges when embracing mobile technologies. And it's, I mean, it's, when you think about it, it's overwhelming and it can be overwhelming, but if you have the right partners, if you have the right people helping you, if you take it step by step, that goes away and implementation and adoption can be done super efficiently and very successfully. So let's talk about that. How can healthcare organizations overcome their challenge with adopting enterprise mobility technology? Well, the key to overcoming challenges, um, I think, is you start with a goal and you work backwards. And it's important that we create a list of, like I said, the current needs, your future needs, and you need to develop a systematic plan. And that starts with the, the assessment of your solution. You have to talk about your trial integration into the healthcare network. Uh, training. Training is super, super important. You need to increase your user adoption. 
um, and then ultimately the implementation. So if you, for example, in a health care organization, um, if they want to make sure they have a clinical mobility device in every hand of every single nurse, the time has to be taken to identify the hurdles that need to be overcome in order to achieve this and not just throw devices on a floor and expect them to just perform. Just go ahead and use it. <laughs> so through every step of our um, of the mobile solutions evaluation process, it's important to keep in mind the multiple factors that come into play. For instance, um, what operating system are you going to be integrating into your environment? And most often we um, encounter iOS or Android. The solution, who's going to maintain your solution? That's important. And, and what does that maintenance entail? Um, in the software applications. What software applications will be going on your device? And will the device be able to handle those software applications? And also, you think about it, your wireless network, that's what keeps you up and running. So will your wireless network be able to handle the device and the applications that you've chosen? Or does the network need to be reassessed? So the reality is that when you choose the right solution integrator, that person or that company will bring the expertise required to guide you in creating this plan. And this plan, it not only manages um, the factors I mentioned, but it also helps to fill the gaps that maybe the current IT infrastructure can't support. And it allows us to increase um, a successful adoption of the whole solution. You know, it sounds like it, it's really all about getting over that silo paradigm of doing everything in-house. Right, right. What we're trying to do is create the solution so that we can take this off-site, we can do all the work somewhere else and have it, and you don't have to worry about it. So once you receive it, it is, um, you turn it on and you are good to go. Awesome. So Nancy, Strategic Mobility Group is a leader in enterprise mobility and has created innovative solutions geared towards solving the mobility challenges in healthcare. Tell us about how you help solve these challenges for your clients. Well, in looking at integrating enterprise mobility into a healthcare network, um, I mean, I guess it could be simply broken down. We break it down into four steps. And the first one I think is logical, it's consulting. It's when we go in and we create an analysis with you or with your company or with your healthcare system and talk about the client's um, milestones. What are their goals? And this helps us start plan, start a plan from the beginning to the end of the mobile project. So we have workflow analysis. We have, um, we gotta go through the software requirements. Um, what are the installation requirements? Um, what's going to happen when with the device implementation? You have to talk about the technical support and also the life cycle management of, of, the, of the project, of the devices. So our goal when delivering an enterprise mobile solution, uh, especially to a healthcare system, in, is truly to be a partner with um, the client and walk them every step of the way. About five years ago, one of our healthcare clients approached us and asked us to come up with a turnkey mobile solution for their NICU department. And the goal was to have the quietest unit in the hospital. So um, it was a little bit of a challenge, but they wanted all the alarms, all the alerts, all their phone calls, all their messages going to one device. So we were brought in and we talked them through it. We went through everything about through the implementation, what it would take, the training, everything that we would be able to do for them to support the mobile deployment. Um, we also had to work um, with their uh, software provider that they had chosen. So we all had meetings, got on the same page and worked together and made sure that our client received all the support that they needed to, needed to have to have a successful deployment. So that was step one. <laughs> step two, um, I like I said, simple, but basically now we're designing it. We go in, we design your, we design um, the deployment that you want or the system that you want. And we focus on the finite details that are involved. So in the selection of your hardware, um, your implementation, the configuration of your device and ultimately the deployment. Um, we also look at the managed services and the lifecycle management solutions that 
will be utilized and to augment the capabilities of their current support architecture. And when you're in the design phase, you really need to take into consider, and I think this is one of the most important things, the user interface. Most people like the consumer user interface that they get on their iPhones. It's very comfortable. We're all used to it. I mean, that's kind of how we're programmed. So we have to take that um, comfortable user interface and put it on a, a business mobile device. So that to me is extremely important to get that right because um, you need to get the buy-in from the healthcare workers that are going to be using this. So, and then we help deliver it. We, and this also increases their user adoption, which is extremely important too. Once again, you don't want to throw in devices and then have nobody know how to use them or want to use them. Another example of a client that we have is we were called in for that exact reason. They were using iPhones in their healthcare system and constantly the support was millions of dollars. So they finally realized that spending this amount of money on support was not sustainable. So we went in and we studied their user interface for the consumers or their consumer interface and we built a, inter a user interface on a, on a mobile device that they felt very, very comfortable with. The end result was that they finally had a stable environment that cut their support expenses drastically and it alleviated the burden from their internal technical team. So that was huge. And it's a relief to have something that doesn't constantly break down on you. Do you design custom interfaces for every client? Um, if they want it, not every client, there are some clients that are completely fine with the way it is right outside of the box and that's okay. Um, but I would say the majority of it, yes, I think every healthcare system has their own needs and wants and, um, processes. So yes, we will, we'll pretty much do whatever you ask us to do when it comes to designing. We have, you know, we'll go through what's, what's available and what's not available and we kind of go from there. Awesome. You know, what's interesting um, right now, it seems like with the current health crisis going on with COVID-19, a lot of organizations, healthcare, and even outside of healthcare are being thrust into this digital transformation, not to belabor that term. And it's kind of forcing them to expand their horizons and look into uh, some of the latest uh, technological solutions. Well, and I agree. I think that, um, well, one, going back to change, um, we're in a crisis right now. So implementing anything new is not going to happen. But um, expanding on what they have can be done. But you're right, absolutely right, because of how fast we have to react. The technology isn't there. It's not, uh, it's not where it needs to be in order for us quite frankly, as a world, to react to an epidemic or a pandemic like this to keep people safe, to keep um, our data accurate. I mean, we don't, I personally don't think we have accurate data. I don't think that we have enough resources to- I don't think we have, have a the, clue. We, we don't. Um, and we don't have the resources. We don't have the technology to get a, a really good view of what's going on. And it's scary. And I think that- um, the mobile technology um, is extremely important and will be extremely important, especially after we come out of this so that we can be prepared again. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was just having a conversation with somebody this morning about this and I was saying, all right, it happened once, but you know what? Um, there, oh. there are many um, hostile nation states out there that are taking notes on how unprepared the world is and what if, you know, let's say this one was an accident. We're not going to go into the politics, um, mm -hmm. but what if the next one isn't? What then? And I'm right. sure our leaders are thinking about that question very hard right now. Well, I, and we would be extremely stupid not to. So if, you know, this, how many times do things like this happen? We have, you know, all the different tragedies that have happened in the past. Yeah. And it's all of a sudden now it's going to be really in people's in the forefront of their mind or whatever. Yeah. And it can be on purpose before, again. I, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a very frightening time and you want to be able to say that you're just going to 
like it's not going to happen again, but you think about our children and everything and it's scary to think of the things that they are going to face in 20 or 30 years. Yeah. And that's why I'm so thankful that there is technology out there to help us fight these battles. Right. And we're going to need to up our game and get a little smarter with our technology. Absolutely. And that's why we share content like this. So we can learn from everybody. And I certainly learned a lot from you, our audience as well. So Nancy, how do people connect with you? Obviously we're on social media. We have our website, which is smg3rx.com. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, at Strategic Mobility Group. Um, And I think on Twitter, it's smobility3. I can't keep track of all the handles anymore. (laughs) I'll I'll look that up. And then what I'll do is I'll post that into the show notes so people can just click on that and get right to you. That would be great. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Awesome. Nancy, do you have any parting words of wisdom that you'd like to share with the audience? When it comes to technology, um, trying something new is not always going to be easy. And the fear of the unknown is actually worse than the journey itself. And We are here to make that journey as painless as possible, and we have proven results, and we have proven that we have um, really enhanced uh, the healthcare systems, business, and patient care. So I think um, if you take the steps, you have the right people on your team, and really, really um, think about it and put everything into place, mobile solutions, technology, the integration of it and the user buy-in, you're going to be very successful. Awesome. Nancy, thank you so much for sharing your time and your wisdom. I really enjoyed having you on the show. You too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.